Good morning, Valley Christian. I'm Noel Hansen, and this is Gary. We got a bunch of league games going this week, so uh, come out and uh, support. All right, so you may or may not know about the three memorials we have around campus. Um, they're honoring people that have majorly affected our school, so enjoy this next video clip about that. Well, there are three memorials for students or former students, and there's one memorial. The biggest one is the John LeFaber Memorial, and that was um, for a teacher. John LeFaber was actually my math teacher when I was a student here at Valley. Uh, he was my algebra, I think, two, which he was a good teacher. It has nothing to do with how much I know about algebra two right now. He, um, I was privileged to know him not only as a teacher, and he was kind of one of those scary teachers. He was this big, burly man that was kind of scary. Then when I came back to Valley to teach, in um, 82, he became my friend and he was a colleague. He wasn't scary. In fact, he was like this big old teddy bear. And seeing him like in the faculty room and in faculty meetings, it just showed me a different side of him. And um, we grew to really love and appreciate him. He was the discipline hour um, czar at the time. Uh, so kind of scary because of that. Um, to the students, but not to us, the faculty. There's one story that I remember about him, and some of the teachers who were here when I was here would remember this as well. Um, he was very set in his ways. So there was a chair in the faculty room that was his chair, to the point that there was a big dip where he sat. And um, there was a new teacher who didn't realize that that was John LeFaber's chair and came in one of the first days of school, sat down in that chair, and proceeded to eat his lunch. The rest of us were kind of looking around like, oh boy, this new, new guy, he does not know what he's doing. But we didn't say anything to him, because we thought, we want to see what John LeFaber would say. Mm -hmm. So he walks in, Mr. LeFaber walks in, I still call him Mr. LeFaber, because you know that's what you do to teachers, yeah. even though yeah, you work with them. Mm -hmm. um, he walked in, John LeFaber got his lunch out of the, the refrigerator, turned around, saw that this guy was sitting in his chair, and said, somebody tell that guy to get his big fat butt out of my chair. That was John LeFaber. He passed away very suddenly on Memorial Day. Um, so it was during a school year, he was playing golf Sounds kind of funny, but it wasn't. Um, he passed away on Memorial Day in 1989. The whole memorial there has symbolism. Mm -hmm. It's a triangle dealing with math. Um, it's the triangle of church, home, and school, which is something that Valley Christian is all about. Well, the other two, um, there's a small stone uh, next to a little tree mm -hmm. dedicated to David Nelson, who graduate, would have graduated in 2003. He was just a nice guy. He had a smile on his face. He was one of those guys that didn't do huge things. Mm -hmm. he, he wasn't on any sports team. He wasn't on student council. He was just one of those students who was here, was nice, and uh, passed away very suddenly. Um, just before exam time um, of his senior year. Excuse me, Kara Overgal mm -hmm. Memorial um, was built in honor or in memory of a beautiful young girl who passed away of cancer. She was a smart student. She was the valedictorian of her class. Mm -hmm. She was super talented. She was on the soccer team. She played a mean soccer game. She was also the star of the senior play. And that's how I really got to know Kara very well. I was um, helping at the time and um, with, with costumes and makeup. I was assisting the director with that. And she was going through chemotherapy. In fact, we found out the day after she had been cast as the lead, um, she found out that her cancer was coming back wow. and that she was going to be going through chemotherapy during playtime. Okay. And she said to Mr. Cole, who was a director at the time, you know, if you want to cast somebody else, go ahead and do that because I'm not sure how I'm going to be feeling. And we decided, nope, Kara, you 
are going to get that part. You have that part. You are that part. Mm -hmm. And she worked through it, through the chemo, through the, through the awfulness of that treatment. And the night of dress rehearsal when I was helping her with her hair, mm -hmm. it was falling out in chunks. And through her tears and through my tears, we decided, forget the hair, we're going to give you a wig. And she fought through that play. It was a beautiful play. It was um, You Can't Take It With You, which we've done recently again. Um, and she did an awesome job. Okay. She um, was somebody who showed what it was like to be, to be beautiful mm -hmm. despite horrible situations in her life. So all of those memorials are, are special for mm -hmm. those of us who knew these people. Yeah. And I just hope that um, students can appreciate that. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys all learned something that you did not know already. Be sure to check us out at our website. And uh, for BCTV, uh, I'm Gary. And I'm Noah. We'll catch you later.